I don't think anybody had done it. They've got a thing called Pixel Shift Resolution, um, which when it came out in 2016, I think it's quite new. I think some of the cameras have it now, some of the Olympus have it now. And basically what it does, it takes four photos at the same time, but it moves the sensor one pixel left, one pixel down and across. And then it combines that image into a gigantic DNG file, which is still 36 megapixels or a JPEG. Now, if you combine them with it, you get so much detail because one of the problems with Bayer sensors is they chuck away about a third of the information when you take a photograph. There was a, another brand of Sigma had a different type of sensor, a Phobian sensor, and that was done with um, layers. And that sort of like gives you much more detail. So you'd, you'd sort of like get, a, I don't know, a 24 megapixel sensor would literally give you a medium format type image. So it's very, very clever, but they do with pixel shift. You can't, you have to have the camera still for pixel shift. You can have a little bit of motion in the frame. It's not super clever. I mean, if you were doing macros and stuff like that with um, a static object, it's incredible, you know, like a watch or something because you've got that additional detail. And then, you know, you can get it and you can focus stack it or whatever, you, however you do it. The other funky feature this has is a thing called Astro Tracer, whereby basically you can, it's got GPS, so it knows where it is. And if you set it up for long exposure, looking at stars, it actually will move the sensor plane to track the movement of the sky. So you don't get star streaks. That's really clever. I've, I've used it once in Greece, I think, and it worked really well, um, but it's just an odd feature.